Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you cannot receive or make calls with your phone app on your Windows device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the very first thing we're going to do is go and right click on our Action Center icon near the bottom right corner of our screen. So just go ahead and right click on that. Again, well, if your taskbar is somewhere else, it's on the far right end of it. And you want to just right click on it. And then where it says Focus Assist, left click. And then you want to make sure you turn that off. Another thing is make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. So it's kind of hard to display that on in this current view. But if you have your Android phone or Apple or whatnot, you want to go ahead and make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. Airplane mode is off. So again, give that a whirl. And finally, you can also try to run the Bluetooth troubleshooting utility. So if we were to open up the start menu and type in troubleshoot, best match should come back with troubleshoot settings. So go ahead and left click on that. And just give it a moment here. Underneath get up and running, scroll down, and then underneath find and fix other problems, select Bluetooth, find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices, select run the troubleshooter. Look, it says that it does not have Bluetooth, so it's not available in this device, so you might have to input an external adapter on here. Again, this should vary depending on your circumstances, but I would suggest following along with what it says. Maybe the external adapter is not plugged in properly, it might be a little loose. So just something to keep in mind, you know, definitely think outside the box a little bit with this one. Select next, and it's just kind of giving us a follow up summary here. Obviously, I did not hook it back up, so that's why it's still showing it as detected and not fixed. So, just want to put that out there, guys. A couple different ways of hopefully getting around that issue. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.